practice timers, what they are and how to use them. Hi, my name is Clay from the cello.online. I'm gonna tell you all about this exciting thing that I've created for you on this channel called a practice timer. Now, if you've never practiced with a timer and you wanna know what practicing with a timer means, well, I have a video all about that. You can watch it here on the channel that's just how to practice with any timer and why it's a good idea. But specifically about practice timers on this channel, what are they? Well, that's a great question actually. A practice timer is a timer which is specific to another video on the channel, some specific idea, some specific goal, some specific piece. Something to help you guide your practice and achieve your goals more efficiently. And they even come in different lengths. I have made them in various lengths of time because everybody's a little different, everybody practices a little different, and you may want one minute, three minutes, five minutes, or more. So here's what you do. Whatever length of time you need, make your own playlist. Here are a few tips on creating and using playlists to get the most out of the practice timers from within YouTube playlists. First, select the practice timer that you're going to use. Then from the save menu, create your playlist. Remember that created playlists can be found under the menu here. Once inside the playlist, select play all. You can also choose to shuffle, make it public, unlisted, or private, and select play. From here, you can choose to loop the playlist or also shuffle it. If you like the pace of a particular timer and just want to play it over and over again, for example, you want to have a five minute practice session with the one minute timer because you like the pace of the questions, just select the loop. And the video will keep playing continuously. If you like the pace of a certain video, but want to practice for a very specific amount of time, Select the URL of the video, copy. You could also do this from the share menu, copying the link. Then click on your playlist, go to add videos, paste in the link, select and add. And now you see that the one minute video is in here twice. Select play all. You can see that the one minute timer is in here twice. Make sure that the loop is not selected and now it will play the video two times and stop. Remember also from the channel page you can select any of these that you want and mix them together to create the perfect time for your practice session. Need a four minute practice session? Select the three minute practice timer. Save to your playlist. Highlight the video you want to delete move from my practice timer and now you have a four minute one minute plus three minute practice timer so just to sum up use the add video feature and also the loop playlist to create your perfect practice timer playlist Mix and match them as much as you need to to get the length of time that you need for your practice session, for that goal that you're trying to achieve. The questions are always the same. The only thing that changes is the amount of time there on the screen and for how long the timer goes. So, for example, a one minute video will prompt you with the same questions as a five minute video, just at different times. Now, don't go using the one minute timer just so that you can be more efficient. 
If the questions are flying by too fast and you're not making any progress, well, then you're moving slow. Maybe you go to the five minute timer and you have time to process the questions and you move along faster. Yeah, you get the point. You know who I'm talking to. But if you really are in a hurry and you wanna just snap in that one minute practice session, then that's what it's there for. All right, so enjoy. Have fun with the practice timers. Let me know how it's going. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for your support. Oh, and uh, YouTube thinks this video right here will be helpful to you, so you might wanna check that out.